Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Um, I would like to continue talking about uh, trigonometric functions uh, and primarily their values for some basic angles. Um, the lecture which uh, preceded this one was about sine. Uh, what's the value of sine for major or basic angles where we can easily calculate its value? Now we will talk about cosines. So, what are the angles we are talking about? Well, it's zero radians, which is zero degrees. It's p over six radians, which is 30 degrees. It's p over four, which is 45 degrees. It's p over three, 60 degrees. And p over two. Actually, sometimes I'm saying p, sometimes pi depending on which language I have in mind, Greek or, or Latin or, or English, whatever. So, um, so for any of these angles, we will calculate the value of cosine. Let's go back to the basics. This is our unit circle. These are crossing with uh, axis. And this is our point A with coordinates PQ. And this is an angle which we are talking about. Well, it's really following exactly the same pattern as um, the previous lecture for sine, except instead of coordinate, I have to consider abscissa. So this is Q, this is P, this is capital P, this is capital Q. So same drawing. And I will try to be as fast as possible because it's really easy and, again, resembles the previous lecture. For angle of 0, A coincides with X and abscissa is equal to 1. So cosine of 0 is equal to 1. Now, if this is P over 6 or 30 degrees, then the opposite catheters, which is Q, is equal to half of the hypotenuse which is 1 because it's a unit circle. So by Pythagorean theorem, p square is equal to hypotenuse square, which is 1, minus this catheter square, which is 1 quarter, which is 3 quarter. So, uh, so uh, the uh, letter p would be equal to uh, square root of 3 over 2. Right. So the cosine of pi over 6 equals square root of 3 over 2. Now, what if this is 45 degrees, p over 4, or pi over 4? English p, Greek pi, whatever. Um, anyway, pi over 4, so this angle is also pi over 4, 45 degrees. So this is not only uh, the right, but also equilateral triangle, which means that P and Q are the same. And again, by the Pythagorean theorem, P squared plus Q squared is equal to 1. Now, instead of Q squared, we can put P squared, which is the same thing as we know. So it's 2 P squared equals to 1 times 2 for a good square root. Now, square root principal value of this, so it's 2 p equals 2 square root of 2. So p is equal to co uh, square root of 2 over 2. Cosine of p over 4 equals square root of 2 over 2. Next, 60 degrees, pi over 3. Well, if this is 60 degrees, then this is 30 degrees, pi over 4. So, the opposite to 30 degrees side of this right triangle, which is actually our abscissa p, is equal to half of the hypotenuse. So there is nothing to talk about here. We immediately have it one half. Finally, if it's uh, pi over 2, which is 90 degrees, a coincides with y, and its abscissa is equal to 0.
Okay. Now, thinking about other quadrants of the coordinate plane, again, very analogously to whatever I was doing with the sign. Cos <coughs> cosine has properties of being a, an even function, which means that's an even function, which means for every angle in this particular quadrant, we can have the corresponding symmetrical angle in the positive quadrant, and, uh, uh, and it, it, it will be uh, the cosine, which is abscissa, will be the same. Now, if we are talking about this quadrant, then we can have a centrally symmetrical point on that side. So if this is x, this is pi plus x, right? So we know how to calculate this, and we calculate cosine of pi plus x, we know this is equal to minus cosine of x. That's another property which we discussed when we were talking about cosines. And again, it's kind of obvious because since these are symmetrical, centrally symmetrical points, this abscissa is positive, then this is negative or vice versa. And finally, if this is in this quadrant, we can consider a set, uh, not, not centrally, but um, uh, re reflection relative to the y-axis and consider this angle instead of this angle. So we have to really, from pi, subtract this. So we need this. And the ordinate, again, would be negative in this case relative to this one. So this is an obvious equality. So these are properties which we discussed before. I just briefly <coughs> mentioned them. And they can help you to calculate any other value of major angle. Let's say you have, I don't know, 135 degrees, which is uh, 180 minus 45. 180, which is pi, minus 45. You know it's minus cosine of 45 degrees, which is pi over 4, which is minus square root of 2 over 2, etc. Uh, that's it, very basic, very short lecture, and uh, we'll continue talking about major angles for tangent, cotangent, etc. Very small, very brief lectures. That's it for now. Thank you.